The large and small catechisms were the most important and influential books written by Luther himself. But the most important book to Luther was the one he translated and preached and taught. It was the Bible. This is from an elaborately illustrated printing of the Bible in three volumes done on parchment in 1541. Lucas Cronach the Elder was the artist responsible for the illustrations, which included 100 woodcuts. The parchment pages of this Bible are bound between wooden covers wrapped in velvet. Princes would often collect such opulent editions of the so-called Luther Bible, complete with intricate decorations and including a separate title page bearing the seals of arms of their various territories. This Bible was owned by Luther's friend George of Anhalt, the only prince at the time who also held office as a Lutheran pastor and bishop. Luther had roughed out a translation of the New Testament already while he was in hiding at the Wartburg Castle in 1521. When he returned to Wittenberg, he and his colleagues perfected that translation. Then they turned to the Old Testament. Luther held that the Bible, Old and New Testaments, is the cradle where Christ lies. Therefore, he wanted to make the biblical text as understandable as possible for everyone who read it or heard it read, and also for the common people. This mammoth task occupied Luther and his colleagues at Wittenberg off and on for over 10 years. Finally, they published the complete Bible translated into German from the original languages in 1534. That was a red letter day in German culture and even greater in its import for the gospel communication. Few people realize that Luther's translation of the Bible was also very influential on the King James Version, which came into English in 1611 and has influenced all of English-speaking Christianity. Thank you.